I'm a pediatric emergency medicine physician. For young babies, it is it creates a unique condition called bronchiolitis, it's, and it creates inflammation and a lot of mucus. And, even, and so what we end up seeing clinically is that we end up seeing babies that are working hard to breathe. A lot of times they're wheezing. Um, they have a lot of nasal mucus. A lot of them are having difficulty feeding because it's taking all of their energy just to breathe. And a lot of these babies are normal, healthy babies. RSV can cause some kind of prolonged wheezing. It is a kind of a big deal. The younger they get it, the more significant the risk is for hospitalization because their airways are smaller. Feeding is more challenging. Three months, you know, we're going to be more concerned about definitely under nine months. So the older that they get, the better that they're probably going to do if they get RSV. Okay, so we know RSV is bad. It can cause bad things. It's common. You've seen it plenty. It affects little babies. What is the new treatment? This monoclonal antibody available to them, it's called Bayfortis, reduces the risk by like 70, 75%, which yeah. is really tremendous.